BMW are arguably Motoring's greatest success story of the last decade. And if you're looking for the superstar of the BMW range, forget about the sports cars, the top of the range. It's the 3 Series that is the real bread and butter of BMW. Last year in the UK alone, BMW sold nearly 40,000 3 Series. And across the world, it was nearly 400,000 that they sold. This car is basically the banker in the BMW range. People absolutely love it from Carlisle to China. Because it's such a phenomenal success, BMW don't change the front or the look of the 3 Series very much. It's always an evolution. But at the moment, they've actually given it more dramatic, meaner looks at the front. I like the new headlights. They've made the kidney grill a little bigger, so they've given it a little bit extra sporting attitude. The rest of the car is pretty much classic BMW. You don't get any surprises here. It's a good looking car. And it's the same story when you come to the rear. They keep a very predictable shape. It has the classic wrap around BMW lights. It is a car with very few surprises and that's because this car is very close to having everything just as the customer wants it. Now, if you like gadgets and lots of buttons, you'll absolutely the, love the interior of a 3 Series. You have switches on the steering wheel that operate cruise control, your radio. You then have your main control center here, which is just a plethora of buttons which can affect everything from telephone to radio to sat-nav. This is a car for people that like gadgets. When it comes to the interior, it has the typical BMW look and feel to it. Everything feels very well put together. There's a solidness about the plastics. The fabrics are nice patterned seats. It's a little predictable for me, and the aluminium finish here is very much mock aluminium. Doesn't feel as good as an Audi A4, but if you like the BMW interior feel, then this has got all of the things you'll be looking for. People who drive BMW 3 Series tend to be executives and reps who go a lot of travelling up and down motorways. They'll enjoy the seats because the seats are very comfortable, they give you good support and there's a useful amount of space in the back and a good size boot. So it's a practical BMW as well as an enjoyable BMW to drive. It's the type of car that you get a lot of enjoyment driving. It's got pin sharp steering, gearbox is really slick. Everything about this car is tailored towards the driving enthusiast. It's got really good cornering ability. This is a car that you will enjoy driving. When it comes to the engines, BMW have got a range of petrol and diesel but I would absolutely recommend going for the diesel versions. My particular favourite is the one I'm currently driving, the 320 diesel. This car not only has great CO2 emission figures that reduce your annual road tax to just £20, you did get that right, £20, but also the fuel economy is tremendous for a car of this size. The official figures are in between 65 and 68, I would reckon though that even driving in normal conditions you will get close to 60 miles per gallon and that is a lot better than a whole load of super minis. So BMW 3 Series, just how good is it? The answer is simple, it's very good. And I've said it before but I'll emphasise the point again. If you enjoy driving, this is the compact executive car for you. If you spend a lot of time on the road driving, this car will give you lots of satisfaction and enjoyment. And the other great thing about a 3 Series, when you come to sell them, there's always somebody looking to pick up a used BMW 3 Series. It's that type of car.